गाइस हैव यू ऑल टुडे वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल So in today's video, I will be showing you guys what I eat in a day. A lot of you requested for this video ever since I spoke about this new diet that I'm following and how I lost about seven kgs in two months. Hey guys, just came here to let you know that this was how I was before I started my whole diet. I was 67 kgs when I started, and it was like super uncomfortable with that, just because I used to feel really heavy. Like I didn't feel like myself. In April, I was traveling to the US. In May, I went back to India, and then I came back to London via Europe. So we did a little Europe tour. Every Everything was just hell then. I was literally eating so much, and when I went back to India, every single time I go back, Nani will literally feed me so much food. So I gained weight like never before, and I was just super uncomfortable with that. But then I realized it's in my hands, and only I can do this, and that's what I'm telling you guys as well. If you actually sit and make this plan for two months, nobody can stop you from hitting your ideal weight. I started this diet on the 10th of June, and today it is the 3rd of August. So we've roughly. completed about 2 months of the diet and i am super excited to show you how every week i've lost about 1 kg so um all in all i would say about 7 kg is what i've lost for sure and then it keeps what the rest of the 1 kg kind of keeps fluctuating so uh my ideal goal is to lose about 5 more kg so i'm still going strong i'm not going to like let loose of my diet but this video is just to show you what i eat in a day in london i'm staying on my own so cooking everything on my own all meals are basically like on my own there's no help if you're somebody who plans on moving abroad uh wants to get an idea of how things are or if you just want to do a diet and you're staying alone or if you just want a simple diet to follow i will basically tell you how to go about this as we progress in the video i'll tell you how exactly you can do this in a couple of apps that have really helped me as well but for starters at 9 am i like to make myself some lemon water let's move on and i'll show you how i prepare this can buy from the market but i would just say it's easier to make it yourself and in the market they have sugar and all of that added in it i just like to do this i like to put pepper you can also put some sugar if you want i just don't like to do this this is just the easiest you can carry it with you at all times so today for breakfast i'm going to have two bananas i will be heading out to the grocery store to get a couple of things i need to get bananas for lunch i'm thinking of making pasta today i will tell you how i go about all of this and how i count my calories and everything so Stick around, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm going to go get groceries now. मेरे पास फ्रिज में अभी ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं पड़ा हुआ है ना. I really need to get like fruits. I need to get some ice cream, uh, salad. All right, guys, here is everything I got. So mini uh, grocery shopping haul: oat milk without sugar, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, three bananas, Greek salads, tuna and sweet corn pasta, and one pack of mixed sushi. Fun fact: I never really liked bananas ever as a kid. I would just hate bananas. Of late, I've realized it's a very filling fruit. It's low on calories. For lunch, I am allowed a meal of choice, which means you can basically have a small portion of anything that you're craving. Which is why I got sushi for tomorrow. I have a very student-friendly pasta recipe, which I am excited to show to you guys. So. Keep on watching. <laughs> While the pasta is boiling, I will quickly tell you about this app that I've been trying, and this is not sponsored. Before you guys think that I'm doing a sponsored video, I'm not doing anything. This app is genuinely something that I purchased and tried. Then I tried a free version of it. It's called My Fitness Pal. Uh, now you can basically track your calories and how many calories you're burning while you're walking. So for me, I usually walk about 10,000 steps, so I burn around 100 or 150 calories per day. You can also log your breakfast, lunch, dinner, other snacks, other drinks, whatever you're having. Automatically pre-fed it in this app. So whenever you eat something, you can just log that in. Ideally, a person should have around 2,000 calories per day, but I like to keep this around 1,500 to 1,200, sometimes even under 1,000. And on detox days, I like to keep this under 800. Please don't think that this is unhealthy. There's a reason as to why I do this and why so many dietitians prescribe this as well. And my diet has been prescribed by a nutritionist, so it's absolutely safe to follow. For me, again, every body type is different, so just a disclaimer. But I will leave uh, some information about how this thing works and how you can stay in. calorie deficit while not making your diet unhealthy so if you are interested in knowing the science behind it it's all in the description box now back to the pasta this is vegan cheese this has less calories 
than normal cheese. You can see her packet ke piche, they will be mentioning kitna energy hai, kitna fat hai. Where it says cake as, this is the calorie count. So when you compare this to the normal cheese, you will see ki isme kam calories hai. What I've also noticed is our Indian diet, just we have dal, roti, chawal, uh, sabzi, kulka, all of that when we eat all of that together. And especially if you have two times a day, you lunch and dinner, and you're having a heavy breakfast as well. Our body gets used to those many calories every single day, which is why when we eat less, khatin, our body craves food. When you condition your body in a way that you don't eat so much, nah khao, instead you eat in moderation, mein khao, you eat only as much as you really have to eat, and you don't overindulge, you don't overeat, your body gets used to that. Which is why when you start eating, say, 1200 or 1500 calories, Calories. Initially, you will probably feel a lot of hunger, but slowly and gradually, your body will adapt to it. Our body is like really, really sharp, and it's very intelligent, and it adapts super quickly. So once you get used to it, you will not be feeling really hungry. Right now, I can even be fine on 900, 800 to 900 calories a day, just fine. Like I will not feel hungry because that's how I've trained my body, and it is in no way unhealthy. Sometimes with my main meal, I do have diet coke or limka or something. Diet coke is something I really prefer because it has like one calorie compared to normal coke. And same thing with limka as well. जो भी आप लो मतलब बेसिकली ट्राई टू टेक द डाइट वर्जन ऑफ इट बिकॉज़ शुगर कम होती है कैलोरीज कम होती हैं सो ऑब्वियसली अ बेटर वर्जन बट फॉर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एंजॉय दिस हे गाइस सो आई जस्ट केम बैक फ्रॉम एन इवनिंग आउट विद माय फ्रेंड्स एंड आई डिडंट ईट एनीथिंग आउटसाइड बिकॉज़ वी जस्ट वेंट फॉर लाइक अ म्यूजिकल एंड एवरीथिंग सो नाउ आई एम बैक एंड आई रियली आई एम क्रेविंग सम ग्रीन टी बिकॉज़ I think I had a heavy lunch, like a big meal. Not a big meal, but well, it was kind of heavy. And then I want to have nariyal pani, just so that the last meal that I have is not super, super heavy. This is just the way that you can sort of fill your stomach up so that you don't end up eating too much as your last meal. Because रात को जितना light हो पाए, I would say उतना light आप रखो. Like this is what really works for me. With the green tea, I also like to have some dates. This is also really filling, guys. Which is why a lot of people, when they break their fast, they have this. This is pretty much all science. I'm not making this up. I always like to drink green tea super hot, and then one sip into it, I realize my mouth is like prone to blisters. Like if I have anything which is even like two percent hot, I'll just get blisters. So I'm just gonna leave it here for some time, let it cool down. And of course, end of the day, I just like to log everything onto my fitness pal just to see how many calories I've eaten and how many I've burned. So today I've burned about 26 calories and I've walked roughly 4,000 steps, I'd say. As for food, I think the pasta was not really 352. It might have been around 452, but that's just my estimate. And with time, you get really good at estimates. So don't worry about whether or not you get it right in the first go. Just give yourself time and you will get the hang of this. If you get the premium version, by the way, you also can see macros and stuff, which I used to do earlier, but then I just thought that's too much obsession with this. So roughly, like, I try to keep it under 1,000, but again, this really depends on your BMI, your activity, your lifestyle, and everything else. What I really like about this app is you can punch in your current weight and your ideal weight and it'll tell you how many calories you need to have every single day to lose weight. Guys, just so you know, I was never this kind of person who would count calories and everything. I was always this person who would say one life to live, just eat whatever you want to eat until my friend hooked me onto my fitness pal and I have just been like a mad person calculating calories every single time. And here it's nice because in London and in fact in a lot of European countries and in the US as well, they write down the calorie count for each meal. In India, I haven't seen that too often so you really have to be careful about how you're consuming your food, how you're spacing out your meals and how many calories you're having per day. Next up, I will be having some Nariyal Pani. I always like to keep like a big bottle of Nariyal Pani in the room. And then for the last meal of the day, my Greek salad. So this one comes already with uh, crumbled feta, plum tomatoes and a lemon and oregano dressing which I really like. morning and I wanted to end the vlog kal raat ko but then I thought there are some things that I want to talk about jo mein agli din subah like today morning I'll wake up properly and I'll talk to you guys about those things and then we'll end the vlog. The first thing is ki kabhi kabhi aapka weight loss nahi inch loss hoega from your waist from other places in your body. My nutritionist tells me every single time that weight loss has its own journey you know it's its own thing it has its own journey it has its own path so you can't be like is hafte mera 1 kg weight loss hoi agli hafte bhi utna hi hona chahiye because wo shayad nahi hoga shayad aapka inch loss hoega shayad aapka weight loss sirf 
500 grams, they're 700 grams. Like, so you really have to let it take its own path and uh, just flow along with it and keep continuing your balanced diet. So this is not like a crash diet, it's not a fad, it's something that is very balanced, it's something that's very healthy. You're not starving yourself off anything, you're eating every single thing that you wanted to eat as your main meal of the day. Once a week, which is the main thing guys, you have to do a detox. I've written everything to my detox diet kit in Khartoum, so I'll just read it out. So obviously lemon water as much as you want. Uh, green tea, bananas, nuts, then there's salad and sabzi. So for salad, I have the Greek salad. Then there's two to three scoops of ice cream. I usually stick to one and then orange. So oranges, again, you can have like two to three oranges or kiwis. So that is usually my detox diet and I do this once a week. It really, really helps because you're eating a lot. You're eating at regular intervals, but you're eating things that are light. So it's like a mini fast. And then the next day when you wake up, you can continue with your normal diet. This is the diet that has helped me since the last five or six years I started uh, following this when I was back in I think school like 12th grade um, if you have any more questions please leave them down in the comments once again I am not a nutritionist or a dietitian or like a medical practitioner so what works for me may not work for you and this is in no way like medical advice this is only my personal experience and I hope you take it like that if you liked this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new over here I would love for you to join our family because I do a lot of such videos we talk a lot about fitness about health about fashion about grooming so make sure that you click on the subscribe button right over there or there whatever <laughs> and one last thing before i leave i do go live on instagram very often my profile is right here on the screen i would love for you to come join our family over there